Deutschland! Welcome back to the second episode and welcome to Deutschland! This was extremely accidental. I just wanted to stop somewhere to find my other phone for internet, for Wi-Fi. But look what I just found. Before we go to the Porsche Museum, I found a German bunker. That's it. Look, there is a hole. Someone had a war in here and they fought for, for what we can do now, so it's kind of cool. Well, I was expecting more, but I guess it looks so big only because the walls are so thick. Look at those walls. Yay! I'm supposed to be going 120 in here, kilometers an hour. I'm going one. 550 meters left. Can I see it from here? Uh, no. What? Look at that. Look at that statue. So it's a Porsche museum, but I was... I thought there's only going to be Porsche, but there's some Porsche and... Look, even one series like mine. I thought that's only gonna be Porsche. Oh, there we go, there's Porsche. Is it some kind of Easter surprise where you have to find them as well? Look, another one. Wow, this is a nice one. GT3. Not RS though. That's weird. Brake calipers is in the back of that wheel. Of course, I'm only messing with you. Let's go to the actual museum. Foyer. <sighs> smells nice in here. Etage 0, foyer, castle. Force Spider 5508. You know, this car reminds me of Lotus for some reason. Of course, this came out first. Another Porsche. All different shapes and sizes. Ooh, the legendary. You've definitely seen this Porsche. Lots of people have. I love this one. Boom. The engine is all open. Literally zero dust. How do they keep these so clean in here? Ferrari Porsche. <laughs> Gee, look where you're sitting. And that's the <laughs> engine fan next to you. Racing Porsche. Another racing Porsche, toy Porsche, Ooh, carbon fiber toy Porsche, upside down Porsche, off road Porsche, almost normal Porsche, F1 Porsche, the invisible Porsche, nice Porsche, police Porsche, Porsche from cars. Damn, this Porsche. Why this one looks so much better than any of I think this one is my favorite. Half a Porsche. Well, if anyone needs to know where that part is. It's there. Oh, look at that. Look at all those trophies. I guess Porsche won all of these trophies then. It's a lot. And here is the legendary clay Porsche. It's not actual clay though, clay colored paint. Oh, here's that Porsche from Cars. Oh look, fast Porsche, slow Porsche, really fast Porsche. I think this is one of my favorite Porsches, not racing, the normal one, GT3 I think. GT3R, yes, just like I said. It's so wide. It's definitely been through some racing. I think this one's been through more racing than the other one. Oh. Safety Porsche. 918 Spider. The Porsche wall. I think that might be it for the Porsche Museum. Unless there's more things downstairs, but I'm not sure. 
So I think that's it for the Porsche Museum. They've done a lot and they still have loads and loads to do still, I hope. That was a really cool visit, although I don't love Porsche as much as I thought I would. It was still cool to see all the Porsches. Now let's go to Mercedes Museum. And if you're wondering why I'm not going to BMW Museum because I'm driving a BMW, it's too far away. Simple. Easy as that. Also, I think that's a Porsche factory over there. And a Porsche. And a Porsche uh, statue. Before I leave, that's an actual working half a scale Porsche. You can pause the video and read, and read that. Please do not back in. Okay. 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 Porsche Museum was a lot quicker than I expected and that's good because we have more time to go to Mercedes Museum. Hopefully you will also see something good in there. And then we can head down to Switzerland, which is great. Here we are. Such a beautiful building though. So let's see if the cars are as beautiful as this building is. I like Mercedes. If I could have any car, it would probably be... It would be Bugatti. And I would sell that, and then I would buy Mercedes. I can already tell that this is going to be a bit more fun than, than Porsche was. I love that elevator. Yeah, Mercedes is definitely going to be a bit more interesting. And this spirals all the way up. I see Mercedes loves playing with aerodynamics a lot. Looks like all of these cars on the wall are fuel efficient or really efficient. Except that those two. <laughs> Solar powered, I guess. All cars should be like that. The Aquarium Mercedes. I got this a little bit wrong. I had to go on those lifts and get all the way up. And now we're slowly gonna walk downstairs and see all of the cars. It said no cameras or no recording in here, but I'm recording myself and I don't think anyone cares. So it starts from the top with the oldest Mercedes, right here. Old, old, old stuff. I'm not quite too interested in this old stuff, so I'm just gonna run through all of these. So all of this looks quite cool and it's just not for me. Here you can see everything from the top floor. It's all the way down there. Here's about newer style. I'm talking compared to the previous ones. And they are so big. Here's another point of view. Where's that going? Ah, uh, here it is. Is that the 300 SL Coupe? Nice. This is cool, cool, cool car. And here they start making buses and a little bit newer cars as well. I just realized that it says the years as we go down 2008. And this, this is where I start slowing down. Look at this. Look, oh my god. Okay, the rear looks a bit ugly. But this is definitely not from 2010s. I don't think this is more like it. SLS. Oh, this. 2000s, there we go. This is 2000s. I think I just found the exact engine that I need for my car. This should fit my first one series twin turbo. 12 liters V6. Or this. This looks better. 1.6 Imagine having 15,000 RPM one series that would be like <laughs> And here is the wall of amazingness. I just thought I saw a GT3 Porsche <laughs> Anyways, here's the wall of awesomeness. Have a look at that Oh no, I'm joking I mean this wall All of the racing cars Rally cars. 
old, old rally car. I think this one has the engine I was showing you a minute ago. That's so small. I could easily fit that in my car. And this is the old style, old car. Okay, I don't think I could fit that engine in mine. Old F1 cars. So, so many of them. They all look really similar. We don't get any cars from now, but as you can see here, looks like the cars of the future. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but that looks so cool. Look at it. It looks like a flying car. This is all of the new designs of Mercedes. Cool, cool. Well, we do have some of the present cars. From clay to a car. Just like all of them, I'm not sure what 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 all of that crack is all about. Here is some more design sketches of Mercedes. I love the interior looks so clean and comfortable. Well, it doesn't look too comfortable actually. Why would you need flowers in your car? Oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Vision EQXX. Nice. The interior of the new Mercedes looks so clean. Just look at the look at the front spacious anyways i think that's going to be it for mercedes we didn't get uh, too many cars from the present but me and you just saw the whole history of mercedes and now i'm feeling a little bit hungry so let's go and have some german kebab there you go this is the stupid mercedes round couch as promised german food that was a lot and the food tasted amazing we hit traffic again yay plus six minutes to be honest i have no idea why i'm saying that because for you switzerland is about one minute or two minutes at most away 40 and 13 cents i just figured out that i can also turn the camera around instead of showing you all of the road i know whenever you're watching road trip you see 90 percent of the road but that's not what i'm trying to do because usually personally when i'm watching a road trip i skip all of the part where there is just road because it's just not interesting so i'll try to put as little of that as possible in this video of course you don't want me to be explaining that anyways why am i explaining this my second energy drink today i just missed one of the most important things of the whole whole um, trip Two hundred twenty-two thousand two hundred twenty-nine. it was supposed to be 222,222, but i missed it no i can photoshop that look Oh look, it's 2222 two, two, two now. Oh, that's so nice. Wow, that's wow, that satisfies me so much. So I just came up with a new plan to avoid the boring motorways, and that is to select the option on Google Maps to avoid the motorways. And now we're going on country road, baby. We'll see how this goes. It obviously takes a little bit longer, but I hope the views are going to be about 50 times better and i'll see some of the actual country and not just the motorways so let's see how this goes if i don't like it i can go straight back on to the motorways again oh no Last petrol fill up before Switzerland, 47, 49. Filling up before Switzerland because Switzerland, like everyone told me, is expensive. And 162 is okay compared to England because it's in euros. But anyways, I think in Switzerland, my bet is it's going to be over two euros. For now, I have a full fuel tank. Hopefully that's going to last me throughout the whole Switzerland, which isn't a lot. Switzerland is quite small anyways. So far getting off the motorway is still a lot better, except that flash that happened, which I, I watched the video, you can't really see it flash, which is weird. I definitely saw it in person.
I think I just found the reason why I wanted to get off the motorways. Definitely don't see this on the motorways. I'm 100% sure. Oh, that... Anyways, that looks massive. That's it. <laughs> Let's go. Just saw a massive, like, sand... Um, I don't know how they're called. That's how they're called. That was cool though. Right now I'm not 100% sure if I am still in Germany or if I've entered Switzerland already. It looks like I've entered Switzerland, but looks can be deceiving sometimes. Alright, so I have no freaking clue where I am. Because Switzerland, the richest planet in the whole EU continent, doesn't have data. Why? Because it costs 15 pounds a megabit, I can't even buy it because I need internet to buy the data. I used whatever Google auto saved or whatever, I, I don't know. So yes, I am in Switzerland. So now I'm in the middle of nowhere. I am on some kind of a mountain here. Maybe there's a beautiful view out there, something like that. At least I hope that's what I'm gonna get in the morning. My car's battery started smelling and now I have to sleep in it. In the morning, I'll go find some Wi-Fi and download the whole map of Switzerland and then we can have fun in Switzerland. But for now, I need to get some rest. It's 11 p.m. and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. So I'll be walking from Switzerland across Liechtenstein and reaching Austria. Let's go to Switzerland. Now I'm in Switzerland. 